you know, sometimes <clears throat> you just have to use whatever measures necessary, guys. So a friend of mine had this CRT still laying around. He's a uh, melee player, like semi-pro. And uh, yeah, I just ordered the Retron 5, you know? So I also ordered all of those flash cards, like for the Nintendo 64 and stuff, and Super Nintendo and NES. Uh, also for the GBA. And I wanna play it on this CRT, my CRT is very small. It's a little small screen. It's nice, but it's small though. And this one is big. Um, look, the, the back is also flat. So it's like really easy to put against your wall, which is nice. Also, this is a nice little workout. <laughs> it's nice out. It's like 30 degrees Celsius. And yeah, everybody's outside. So it's not a bad day to do this. I don't care about sweating though. It's all good, healthy. Yeah, so I just need to get this thing to my home. Uh, and like, I don't know, it's gonna take me around 15 minutes, I think. It's not even that long. And then I can just hook it up. Um, I can hook all of those systems up and it'll probably look way better than on like uh, HD TV or something. So, I'm a big fan of how CRTs look. Like it feels like the depth on the screen is uh, it's a lot better. There's a better perspective or something, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It's, you can definitely notice the technology difference. On an HDTV, all those retro games just look flat, you know? You can't really see depth. I was playing Tekken 3 this week and I and Mario Kart by the way on the N64 and I was surprised on how freaking epic it looks on a CRT it's almost like virtual reality or something it's like really 3d the perspective is massive ma a massive change massive difference massive difference from uh, you know regular HD TV so <clears throat> I paid 10 euros for this thing. That's like $12 American, you know? Uh, so it's not even that expensive at all, actually. And I am more hyped about this shit than a new HD 4K HDR TV or something, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, I'm almost home. Everybody's enjoying their <laughs> day out. And I'm here, <laughs> I'm here transporting CRTs. Okay, sure, anyway. <laughs> I'm almost at home guys. I'm gonna hook it up and let's see how it looks All right later So, you know, what's funny about walking around with the CRT <laughs> People are actually smiling So people are watching this thing Watching me drag it and people on their bicycles and shit. They're just freaking smiling at me like damn That's so nostalgic. They're looking at the TV and they're like damn bro. That reminds me of my youth and shit. You can definitely, you can see their faces like they're they're watching this thing like, you know, that's how they're on their bikes. And I'm like, hey, hi. They're probably like, oh, he's gonna play duck hunt or something. You can definitely tell that people have memories uh, related to this shit. So that's cool. Uh, I'd, I'm also gonna hook up the emulation station to this thing. I bought a. Yeah, HD to AV adapter for my desktop PC. Uh, all, of the, all of the old games are on there with like retro arch. And uh, yeah, which means it's possible for me to play it on this unit uh, straight from my PC. So how sick is that shit? So I can just hook all controllers up that I want. Can use save states, you know. All of that emulator good stuff. I could probably even upscale it and then still run it on a CRT. So that's gonna be hella interesting, guys. And I can't wait to experiment with that. And yeah, well, we are gonna see what this bad boy brings to the table, guys. So be sure to hit the like button if you like content like this. Be sure to subscribe if you like seeing me sweat in the sun transporting CRTs and 
drop a comment because I'm interested in how you guys think about this old technology and if you guys still play retro and if you prefer retro over modern or like the other way around. So let me know guys, let me know. Okay guys, so I'm here with my mom and dog, Trippy Dog. So first we're gonna go to this older lady who has like three pristine condition CRTs in her home, like perfectly preserved. I don't know how, I don't know why she still has them, but I found them in there for free even. So I can't really film her house or anything. I don't want to dox her, but we are, I'm obviously gonna show off the CRTs when we have them. So we have the car over here and we're gonna pick up some CRTs and I think we're also gonna pick up even more but we're gonna have to wait and see what everybody says because I'm gonna, yeah, contact them right now. And then we'll see how much we can pick up. So see you there. You're gonna drive us there, Trippy. Yeah. Oh no. Mm -hmm. So my dog, well my mom's dog absolutely can't handle it if she's gone for like one second starts crying and shit even though my mom is literally outside for 10 seconds now 10 freaking princess trippy baby baby don't worry she's she'll be back she'll be back in 30 seconds she'll be back in 30 seconds calm down calm down trippy calm down baby Trip. Calm down, trips. No, oh, it's so, so sad. <laughs> well, it's all recorded. <laughs> the panic attack. We got it on tape now. <laughs> Okay guys, look at the loot. We got a Grundig something. I think this is a really good television. We got this one that's actually plasma, so I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but we'll see. Uh, we got this big unit over here, speakers. We all got remote control, so that's cool. And the Sony Trinitron, cream of the crop. Uh, yeah, we also got that, so. Shout out to the awesome people giving us this stuff for free. Can't film their house, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it. So we're gonna test it out if it all works. Yay. Now we're gonna head back home. I think I'm actually gonna use this first to see how it performs. 
because yeah i think this is supposed to be the best and this one's actually a bit bigger so if that one is actually better i don't know we're gonna test it out let's take them inside well guys they're here but now i have a choice though because okay i, I have this trinitron actually looks pretty fantastic let's see what's on the front does it have any yeah nice okay so i can actually use this oh it also has a headphone jack so i think this one is it looks freaking legit it looks really good but it's still a bit small right uh focus please cam okay. yeah so this is looks epic but it's still a bit small this is actually the same thing let's see does this have any connections in front no right no nothing does it have on the back on the back it has a scart and that's it yeah scart and tv okay okay so this is actually 55 watts 50 60 hertz and this one is 50 hertz uh to 240 volts don't see the watts but I think it's going to be this one. It's going to be my main TV. I mean, look how big this unit is. Uh, yeah, so 50, 60 hertz, 85 watts, 240 volts, Grundig Salzburg ST 7, 770 model. It has two scarts. I like that. And maybe on the front, I hope it has... Oh, it's a bit okay. So first off, I'm gonna put this one here. Uh, so let me clean this up first and put that one there. And then I kind of want to see if I'm gonna use this one or the Trinitron. Trinitron is a really professional thing. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. My mom found the candy box. Oreos. But look at this, guys. We installed. This TV over here, a Grundig, Grundig, apparently. It has 50 hertz and 60 hertz, but I'm a European, so you're seeing 50 hertz uh, right now. Uh, I can't really get it to 60 hertz right now. I can't, uh, my, I can load the games in 60 hertz, but the console thinks it's, uh, yeah, anti-SC game, obviously. And then I can't boot it up. Then it says it's not compatible with your SNES. But I have solutions for that, but just not right now, so. But, uh, yeah. As you can tell, all is working. I really like this screen. Okay, so I'm just playing this on an EverDrive. Uh, clone from China rip off again um, but yeah first thing I'm noticing when I'm playing this on a regular CRT is the background looks 3d there's no input lag at all um, it plays really freaking nice it just feels nice it's really engaging this way uh, the music sounds epic coming out of these speakers, but I think this is a really freaking good TV that I just got for free, by the way. This is probably even a better one than the Trinitron, the Sony one. But I haven't even booted that up yet, to be honest. I haven't hooked it up yet, so... I'm gonna see if that one's actually better than this, but I don't think so. This is also really sharp. And, yeah, the screen just looks absolutely amazing, especially with, like these graphics you know the, the Donkey Kong Country stuff with the I don't know what it's called but you know the techniques they used for this is really show on a regular CRT and doesn't show on a plasma or LSD TV at all LCD LCD yeah <laughs> so yeah whatever it, it all works and it's epic well this is also a really freaking good TV whoa but it's just a lot smaller than this one. But damn, the audio is crazy. Picture quality is crazy. I think 
This one is a bit old though, or it has been used a lot because sometimes it just flickers. So it's probably a bit old. But uh, damn, it's also a really good one. So yeah, I kind of have to pick. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's just bigger. And the guy told me this one was never really used. But this definitely, but this is definitely a good alternative. The colors are also really freaking vibrant. Whoa, that's weird, look. So, my camera can't really capture it. That thing is not on screen. This is, this is the screen. Oh, can I? No, no. It doesn't really let me capture the game. But damn. And there you go, now you can see. Damn, this looks so cool. Looks amazing. Let's turn this on as well. I'm gonna directly switch this one now. Over here. I think this one is actually better. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be my main TV. Trinitron's a bit sharper, but that's also because it's smaller. I think this is the best one. But this is definitely a close second. I'm gonna put it in storage though. But uh, if this one ever breaks, I'm gonna use this, you know? Okay, we just dumped the three TVs at my place. And now we're on to get another one from a friend of mine actually. So I don't know if I'm actually going to use it because it's like an LCD screen or plasma or something. But I promised him I would pick it up. So we're going to do that right now but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So maybe I'll just put it in storage or I'll just, I don't know, give it to a friend of mine. I, I know people that want it so. Maybe that's what we're gonna do. So we just dumped the other three at my place that we just picked up and now we are about to pick up the fourth. And then we're also gonna pick up a fifth. And then I think uh, we've had enough. Okay, so we have arrived uh, somewhere around here. And yeah, I'm not gonna show the exact location, obviously. So I will see you in the next shot. Oh guys, I'm all cooked up in the car. My mom's here. Oh, I don't have any space because we have two crazy ass units over here. A really old one and like one of the most modern ones. So I also want to check out the screens on that one. Like the, 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 the quality and stuff, we'll see. But it's gonna be freaking interesting. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I think we picked up enough for one video. Get in there. And uh, we are gonna see what this is gonna bring us. So I'll see you in the next shot. So what do you think of CRT's mom? <laughs> <laughs> she loves me right now. She loves me so much. It's always the same with you. Always the same shit. <laughs> it's all for the views and the comments. So if you guys like me all cramped up in this car, <laughs> hit the likes, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to turn on notifications because more is coming. And my mom is going to be so happy. <laughs> Very happy, yes. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I'm going to make more videos like this and uh, 
would be cool if you guys subscribe if you like the content obviously consider subbing and uh yeah i was gonna show off the flash cards that i use in this video but i'm not gonna show the details in this video but i will in future videos so if you're excited for that shit be sure to stay updated and uh yeah leave me a comment in the comment section I'm kind of curious if you have a CRT yourself and why, and if if not, why not? Oh, I have no idea why. <laughs> why? <laughs> well, they're gamers, Ma. Oh, okay, yeah. Gamer life! <laughs> okay, I so, I, I actually, <laughs> I think a lot of retro gamers actually have one. Uh, and I still prefer, prefer it to this day over other, you know, Full HD, 4K, freaking. Yeah, uh, I still prefer it over 4K television and stuff. So, yeah, we're almost at home again, finally. So yeah. we can chill and uh, see you later. Don't touch my CRT. How dare you? <gasps> Touched it. <laughs> You broke it, Mom! <laughs> Trippy. Trippy hiding. Hiding under the CRT. <laughs> Flog worthy material, if I say so myself. You ever seen a dog scream for ice cream? He even has ice cream on his head, on his ear. <laughs> can't even tell because it's like his colors. Even the cone is his other color. Her other color. It's pretty fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Yo guys, so I was actually busy with this Sony Trinitron because I didn't have the remote control for this one. But this one is also a Grundig. And this remote control actually worked on this television. So with some improvisation, I actually managed to get the NES channel on this TV. And this TV is hella big. So I love it actually. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use this one I think. And then the Sony is gonna be my backup. Um, Maybe the Sony has a bit better screen, but this one is just hella, hella bigger, and I like that. Um, and now I'm gonna see if I can get everything to work on this one, because I just wanna see what options I have, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now.